Good morning again, this is Jonathan Small, host and producer of All About You, uh, broadcasting live from AccessTV.org studios in downtown Hartford. Today is December the 10th, 2012, and this show again is designed to give the guests a chance to tell their entire life story from the beginning towards the end. Today I have a very special guest here in the studios, the former two-time boxing, well, former two-time world welterweight boxing champion of the world, Marlon Starling. Good morning, Marlon Starling. Good how morning. you doing? Good. How are you? All right. And you? Oh, I can't complain. Okay. Kind of give people out there your life from the beginning where you got started at. Wow. Uh, well, I, I grew up in the housing project in, in Hartford, Connecticut. Okay. A, a housing project called Bellevue Square Boys Club. Okay. Or Bellevue Square. And, and during that time, um, you know, I um, they had a boys club in, inside the, the project. Mm -hmm. I, I um, used to play midget football, and I was a guy that loved, I loved sports, I was always out the house. And um, it came to a point where um, I played football, and at the end of a football play, I got blew over. Mm -hmm. And all, everybody said, oh, if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for you, um, we would have won. Okay. And a good friend of mine said, oh, why don't you come on down to the gym, About, you know, Johnny Duke's gym. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. Okay. I went down there and um, I said, I'm not getting in that ring. <laughs> that, <laughs> that ain't for me. Yeah. Okay. But I, I, he was one of my good friends and I stood, I stood there for about a year um, mm. determining whether I wanted to get in the ring or not. And at that time, it was um, Cassius Clay that's, that's out there, mm -hmm. you know, Muhammad Ali today. And um, I thought I was uh, Cassius Clay. Cassius Clay, okay. And um, eventually I jumped on in there. And, as they say, the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Now, when you started boxing, did you start off as a Walter weight as you became Walter weight champion? No, no. I started out. I started out at 100. And, uh, I think between 106 and 112 pounds. I know my first tournament I fought in was 112. Okay. Now, when you was boxing, um, what were some of the challenges that you went through? in the boxing uh, world? You know, what, well, tell people out there. What well, it was I like. think I think. Um, just the, the challenges in the world, you know, right back then, uh, don't forget now, this was um, 1968. Mm -hmm. And during that time, they had the um, the 68 riot. Yes. Okay. They had the 68 riot. I grew up in the, in the, in the, in the housing project. Mm -hmm. I remember the Martin Luther King riot, right? Yes. I was out there throwing bottles and throwing things. I didn't know what we were doing it for. Mm -hmm. I did it because everybody else was doing everybody it. Everybody else was doing it, okay. And um, I seen some things, and um, the, the, we had a guy named um, Johnny Duke. Uh, his, his real name was Julius, Julius Gallucci. Mm -hmm. He was the only he was the only Caucasian person that was in that was in you know our neighborhood. Okay. And like I said, I I, I, I sit there at the at the doorstep for about before the, for about a year before I decided let me go and try this mm -hmm. and and because I, I did because my my good friend was doing it. Mm -hmm. Did you go to the Olympics when you was in the boxing world? I got I got blessed in in 1974. Mm -hmm. 1974. Um, I was I was weighing about 130 35 at that time, mm -hmm. but uh, in 1974. They asked Johnny Duke um, in the Nationals. We got an open class at 147. If you can, you can bring your guy. And it was my first time. It was my first time on the airplane. Mm -hmm. uh, I, and and when, when when I got on the plane, Johnny Duke said to me, uh, my, "My my nickname was Moochie." Mm -hmm. Johnny Duke said, "Hey Mooch, um, don't forget to ask the stewardess for your for your spring juice." Okay. And as the lady, you know, come down, the aisle, I said. Um, I didn't get my spring shoes. <laughs> and she looks at me and Duke, Duke started laughing. And I said, why do I need the spring shoes, Duke? Duke said, 
just in case if the plane crash, uh -huh. it bounces and oh. jump up. But I was serious. That was my first time on a plane, and um, that was in 1974, and I fought at 147 pounds. I mean, I was a little lighter, but I, that's the only opening they had in, in the class. Was that when you became pro? Or when did you become pro in oh, boxing? I turned I turned pro in 1979. Oh, okay, five years later. But the, my my first my first um, my first plane ride was in 1974. Well, that could be real challenging. You know, sometimes people don't understand what professional athletes have to go through traveling all over the world. And many young people never been on a plane, never been outside their home uh, backyard. So, what was that like? That new uh, well, experience. Well, I tell you what. Um, I, I I got um, I think I got used to it because um, we should as an amateur we should go we should go in tournaments a lot. Okay. And I used to say to I used to say to Johnny Duke, hey, hey, Mr. Duke, I said you know what I can't see how your wife can ever put up with you. You always on the road. Yeah. We got to go here. We got to go there. And I mean every time every year every so many months we got to go on a tournament somewhere. Mm -hmm. And Johnny Duke always always there. And um, as as that was going on, that was my life. That was your life, okay. I mean, because after 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 professional, I mean after pro, I never thought that I was going to turn professional. Mm -hmm. That was something where um, that was something that the, the the people threw on me. Yes. Oh, when you going to turn pro? When you going to? I had no, I had no, I I had no question about turning pro. Mm -hmm. That wasn't you know, I wasn't. I knew that uh, I wanted to beat Muhammad Ali. Okay, that was your idol. Yeah, that was my idol. You know, uh -huh. it was a, it was a guy named Johnny Duke. I mean, it was a guy named Adam Battles who who owns a, a little variety store on the corner of Pavilion and Main Street in Hartford, Connecticut, mm -hmm. in North End. Uh, and he uh, bought my first robe, in, in I think in 1973. Mm -hmm. He bought me a, a black boxing robe that was long like Muhammad Ali's, mm -hmm. and I was impressed. Impressed with that. I mean that. That was all I needed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was young, cocky, cocky. like we we are at being young. Yes. And um, I think I learned a lot. I learned so much about life with um, Johnny Duke and and Adam Battles was another. Uh, and and I had I came up with uh, a, a beautiful uh, family with my mother and sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. You know, it was seven of us. Okay. And and in the three room apartment in, in, in North End and you know believe it my my childhood was great mm -hmm. you were seven brothers and sisters or your mother and father and everybody included total seven no that's nine that's nine total okay mm -hmm. so that's a pretty big family and you know what we all graduated from high school mm -hmm. we never got arrested mm. Cause we knew that if if something happened, we had to, we had to pay the piper. Mm -hmm. I think I think our, our, our um, what goes on today is too many is too many uh, kids have babies. Yes. I mean we can't change it. I think we we can we can teach it. We can teach these these youngsters. You know I'm I'm blessed that mm -hmm. uh, I was a single parent, mm -hmm. and um, my my son's mother. My son was born in '77. Okay. I was a year out of high school, mm -hmm. and um, I took the job. I took the job. With me, me, it wasn't. I never had a custody battle with with my my baby's mother. Mm -hmm. It was just um, she came to stay with me, with my family, after after she had a baby, and um, I got I got I got to be a I got to be a, a mother and a father and at a the father same, time. same time. And that was some that that's something that I can I think I would I owe it to her. Mm -hmm. Now you said you became professional in 1979, and what was it like now to be in the professional level of boxing? And then also, what was it like, you know, having a family to support and all of the pressures that go along with that as well? Well, um, my 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 professional. Professional is, uh, f I think, in in the in the pro category of the word calling uh, professional. Being a professional ball player, being a uh, professional fighter, is two different things. Okay. You don't need a you don't need a you don't need a degree or you don't need a um, a big resume 
to to be a professional fighter, mm -hmm. you have to be uh, drafted to be a pro football player or a pro basketball f player. Mm -hmm. um, so that that word professional, when it comes to pros, it, it, it doesn't mean much for me because um, anybody can be a professional fo uh, boxer. Mm -hmm. But you do get paid money when you become a professional different than when you are an amateur. Well, okay, you, you do, but um, when, when, when Ray Leonard first um, had his first fight mm -hmm. as a professional um, boxer, he got a million or something like that. Mm -hmm. When Marlon Stalin had his first professional fight, he got $75. Mm -hmm. That's a big difference. Well, let me clarify that because I remember when Marvin Hagler was about to fight Sugar Ray Leonard mm -hmm. in 1987 and he was always bitter toward Sugar Ray Leonard because he went to the Olympics and he was praised. Sugar Ray Leonard actually got $50,000 for his first fight, which was a lot of money back then. I think Mar uh, Mar uh, Marvin Hagler got about 500 so he was kind of bitter. Um, I got 75 75 Dollars. Dollars, yes. Okay, so that's not much. But you don't, you know, we didn't, I didn't do that for, I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't fight for the money, mm -hmm. but the money helps. Okay. I, you know, all my life, it wasn't about the money. I never got that ring for that dollar. Mm -hmm. The only time I, mm -hmm. <laughs> let me not say never, the only time I got that ring for that dollar was, um, I fought a junior middleweight bout. Okay. But still, when it, when it got ready to when, when we got ready to work, you know, people ask me today, oh, "What you miss about what you miss about um, boxing? You miss the money and the thing." You know what I miss about it? I miss the camaraderie with the guys in the locker room, mm -hmm. in the gym, talking about each other. Yes. You know what what you doing here? And you know, this, that that's what I miss. Uh -huh. And if I if, say if I had. Uh, a couple hundred million now, mm -hmm. it still wouldn't bring the people back that was in my life at that time. Mm -hmm. So it ain't, it ain't about the money. We just are running out of, out of time, and you did give a lot towards your life story today. I appreciate, again, you coming down here, giving up your day or your morning to tell people out there your entire life story. I enjoyed this very much. Again, this is Jonathan Small, host and producer of All About You. Uh, until next week, I wish everybody out there the best. Thank you. Thank you.